Welcome back. I'm Scott Swearingen from RhythmPig.com. I'm playing in Austin, Texas. My band right now is called Spillway Sessions. Uh, I had a group called Bellahar for the longest time, and uh, that CD is now available on my website. And you will hear some of these Middle Eastern rhythms on that Bellahar CD, and you'll hear some of the African and Afro-Cuban rhythms on it as well. There's different things that you can do with your Doombeck to get different sounds. Um, the first idea is to uh, be able to dull out the tone or flatten out the tone. So you can hear as I move my fingers down and press into the drum head, I take that ring out of it. And as I move my fingers back, Let me show you what I'm talking about here on this dulling the tone out. Let's do a um, let's do a shift to telly. So you can get different sounds out of it, uh, out of your drum with some of these different tricks. So one of them is. Getting those fingers there, different people do it different way. I've seen people use those two. I tend to use these two fingers here because that's the quickest up here. I'm getting used to using those middle fingers there, and that helps me there. I'm grabbing it with my thumb. I'm holding it, pushing tight. Notice as you move your finger out, you're going to get a different tone going on. So that's one of the tricks to do. Now the other trick to do is this whole idea of that pop, like that right there. I'm going to take some strings, and what you're doing is grabbing it like that. That's what you're doing. So you're playing along. Big pop, big noise, pop it down here in the middle, pop it out here, and pop it on the rim. 